Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about Harley Quinn season number one, episode number 13, The Final Joke. This, and this episode is directed by Brandon McKinney. And in this episode here, we're dealing with the aftermath of what happened to Poison Ivy. The Joker killed her. She killed her and she died. Took a, took a some kind of spike and threw her through her, through her back, went out to her heart and she died. And now Harley is trying to get revenge on the Joker. And, by, and, and at the same time... Also trying to, um, well, mourn the loss of her friend. And you see how it affects everybody and, and her crew. I mean, Kite Man is de has, um, well, he's, he going, he's depressed right now. The woman he wanted to marry, spend the rest of his life with is dead. And he pretty much living in, in a tent next to her. So he doesn't want to leave. leave. Um, Harley and the crew are trying to figure out a way to get back at the Joker. And the Joker is living his best life right now because he's taking over Gotham. He's won. He, he has won. And he's celebrating. But the thing is, though, he, he's on top now. He got everything he ever wanted. But at the same time, he's not happy. He's bored out of his mind. He doesn't know what to do. He, he knows what it is. He's missing Harley. He's missing Harley. He wants, he wants her back into his life, back under his control, back the way he, it was when, when she, before she left. He even tried to put her, he even made her sure she put her back on the costume to make her, remind her where she used to be. Yeah. Because he's trying to, he forced her to do this, but pretty much like torturing and almost possibly killing her crew and her friends and her, her new family that she, that she has made. Yeah. But in the process of all this craziness happened, it forces Harley to pretty much team up with Batman, to pretty much with the help of Commissioner Gordon, even though he's a little bit off his rocker, to pretty much save and stop the Joker. Because the Joker doesn't want to just punish um, Harley. He wants to erase her, make her normal again. But it ends up, the Joker becomes a normal we will see about that. But overall, I did enjoy this episode a whole lot. It was funny, as, 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 as always. All the, I do enjoy the humor on this show. The animation has always been fantastic. And I really do enjoy these characters. Alan Tulik is the VPP, VIP of this show because he kills it as Clayface. When, he, when Clayface is giving that speech, when he, 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 I'm pretty much quoting um, Captain Kurt for, for Holly, for Holly, I mean, not Holly, Poison Ivy funeral, which is just hilarious. And then he, and he does an amazing job as a Joker as well. That, that's just, oh, that boy is killing it. And all the voice actors do an amazing job. I mean, Clayface and the King Shark, who, who voiced by Ron Funches, well, actually, are, 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 are my favorite. They really are my, they, those two are my favorite. But then you have other characters here, like you got um, um, Tony Hale, who does Dr. Psycho. He, he, he does an amazing job here, too. And you also have um, Jeff, Jason Alexander, who, who does the voice of Cy Borgman. Uh, I love that name so much. That he, he does, um, he, I, I really do enjoy his performance that he does with his voice acting as well. I mean, all the actors do an amazing job. And so, watch them communicate with one another, watch their relationship, how they bounce off of things, the ideas off of one another in, in, in the funny and, and silly and crazy ways. I really do enjoy that so, so much. It was a great season finale for this, for now. I'm looking forward to when it, when it comes back, or how things go, because there's a whole lot of things happen. I mean, the, most of the other Justice League got stuck into the, to the um, fairy tale book. Are they, they going to get out? I don't know. It, Batman ends up saving the Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn's life, but in the process, he may have gotten crushed by some pillars, which I don't, I don't think actually happened. Because the thing is, though, I didn't think Poison Ivy was going to stay dead. That's impossible. I mean, as, as soon as they put her in the ground, I knew she was coming back. And most likely, Batman's not dead either. He's not going to kill all major characters. He's Batman. Now, I don't know how you're going to get out Super, Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Green Lantern out of that book, but we'll, we'll see what happens there. And then you got the, the ending when Joker actually, because the thing is though, Joker was going to push Harley into that toxic chemical waste to erase her, but he, he's going to fall in the hair and he becomes normal. So what does that mean? The Joker gone forever? Which is impossible. So how he's going to come back? Is he still going to be in, in crazy and insane? Is he going to become a librarian? I don't know. Overall, I, I still enjoyed it. Maybe it, it, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed the season to this, to this episode right here. And I'm also looking forward to the next, the next, the next season, see where it goes from there. This thing is a whole lot of fun. I enjoyed it from beginning to the end. I give this, this season right here a great. I'm giving it a solid. Um, I'm giving it a B plus. I'm giving it a B plus. Those are my word for it. Go check it out for yourself. Hope when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So if you like, I said, if you have seen this episode, leave your comments down below. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out for yourself. Well, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. To so give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up. Shaboop! And subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. 
And if you are watching this right now, you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make 100,000 subscribers and help me on my journey to get there. And I appreciate every, every single person who have subscribed. And if you're thinking about subscribing, just subscribe. I would appreciate it so, so much. So like I always say in my dream game of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.